The mixer can be opened in a couple different ways. You can choose the mixer from the Devices menu. Or you can use the default key command, F3. When you make adjustments on one track, you can copy those adjustments to another track. Press the E button on the first track. Let's quickly move the volume, change the pan, add an insert effect, change the EQ, and change the send. Now you'll see at the bottom right of the track, there are copy and paste buttons. If you can't see these buttons, right click on an empty area and select control strip under customize view. Now press the copy button here. The paste button is now lit up. That lets us know that something is in the copy clipboard. Choose a new track with the triangle drop down menu and then press the paste button. Now all the settings from the first channel have been applied to this one. You can also save your channel or mixer settings to the hard drive so you can call them up in other projects. In the main mixer view, select the track by clicking anywhere in this area here. The track will become highlighted. Now right click and choose Save Selected Channels. Choose a spot on your hard drive, name the file, and then press Save. To load this on another channel, just select the channel you want to load it on. Right click on it and choose Load Selected Channels. Select the file we just saved and click Open. You can select multiple channels by holding down the control button and clicking on each channel that you want to select. If you want to save and recall the entire mixer, which is great for backing up important sessions, you can use the Save All Mixer Settings to save it and recall them using the Load Mixer Settings command. You can reset the channels to their initial state by pressing the Initialize Channel button on the Channel Settings window. If you need to reset the entire mixer or a group of selected channels, you can do this on the main mixer page by pressing this button at the far left. A window pops up with three options. You can choose to reset all, reset the selected channel, or select no to cancel the reset. Be careful with this button. I'd hate to see you lose a good mix. That's why it's a good idea to have the mix saved on the hard drive with the Save All Mixer Settings command. You can hide tracks using this button here, but first you need to set the tracks you want to hide to Can Hide. There are a few ways of doing this. The first way is to click the arrow on the top right hand corner of the track and select Can Hide. Now click the Hide button and the track disappears. Click on the button again to bring it back. Notice that there is now a diagonal line right at the top of the track. This represents Can Hide mode. You can quickly switch the Can Hide mode on and off by Alt or Option clicking here. Notice there are three buttons below the Hide button. The first two are Set Target Channels to Can Hide and Remove Can Hide from Target Channels. We'll talk about how these work and what target channels are in a second. The third button removes Can Hide from All Channels. You can also remove Can Hide from All Channels by clicking in some empty space on the mixer and selecting Reset All under Channel Visibility. Just above the Hide button, there are three buttons. These are the command target buttons. They decide which channels in the mixer will be affected when certain track commands are used. You can select to exclude the inputs, affect selected tracks only, and exclude the outputs. You can have all these buttons activated at once. If none of these buttons are selected, then all channels become target channels. Now when you press buttons such as all targets wide and all targets narrow, and all of the buttons are down, we're telling Cubase not to make the inputs and outputs narrow or wide, and to only make the selected channels narrow or wide. Don't forget, if you're having trouble remembering what all of these buttons on the mixer represent, you can turn on the Show Tips function in the Preferences menu under General. If you have this enabled, every time you hover over a button, the name or function of that button will be displayed. 
move on to the next chapter to learn even more about the mixer.